What's going on guys, my name is Animus and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Today we're going to be checking out the new ATS GT that came with this game. Now I did record this before, unfortunately I had corrupted files so I had to record it again. So the paint on the car is going to be, you know, the way I painted it, so there's that. Anyways, before we get into it, subscribe if you're new uh, and share with your friends. Smash the like button, it helps out the video, it also helps out the channel as well. I'm trying to make it 800 subscribers. We're at 777 right now, and honestly, I can't believe it. <laughs> We're like 23 more people out, so subscribe, share with your friends, come on. And one more thing. I was called useless <laughs> by a family member. It was freaking hilarious the way it happened, but whatever. So I was called useless or whatever, so I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that, and I'm going to become not useless, but I will forever be useless. Right, so I'm a, according to her, I am a useless freeloader. <laughs> Shut the frick. Like, you're so stupid. Like, whatever. Whatever, fine. So I'm a useless freeloader. So anybody who is subscribing or already subscribed, you guys are useless. Okay, so there's that. So if you guys want to join the useless community, subscribe here. Come on. Make it to 800 subscribers. We'll have 800 useless people. Come on. We got this. We definitely got this. We have to prove her wrong. Here it is, guys. The ATS GT from 2018. 720 horsepower, 575 foot pounds of torque. This thing weighs 2,985 pounds. Super, super cool car. Like I said, I did record this before, but corrupted files, so I couldn't actually edit. Um, so the paint is different, but it's fine. It's fine. The paint, I love the way the paint, I love how I made it. It looks really, really cool. So there is that. Let's go to Forza Vista really quick. I just want to show you guys everything. So we explode this. You can fit a couple bodies in the trunk. It is a carbon fiber uh, body as well. So there is that. Super, super cool car. There's Alcantara on the dash as well as the seats. It is an automatic transmission. I think it has eight speeds if I'm not mistaken. Which is super, super cool. Sistema Trio right there on the bottom. Looking super good. Super cool. Uh, those exhausts right there. They look really, really cool. Love how they look. Um, this rear wing this little panel comes up only when you're braking which is kind of weird if i'm being completely honest but we're going to take this thing for a race right we're going to do our usual schedule first race stock form going to go upgrade it second race stock form top speed test and we'll end it off there all right guys here we go on our 2018 gts 8 from ats ats gt there you go that makes more sense a lot of wheels spin off the line. Also, this car did come out in Forza Horizon 4, and they are releasing it as a new content car for Forza Horizon 5. But in real, realistically, it's it's just a car from FH4 that they didn't add in FH5 until now, and they're claiming it as new. It's new to Forza Horizon 5, but not new to the series at all. Now, one thing that I did notice with this car in the other recording, or in the recording before this one, was that. It doesn't turn, and it's doing it right now. It does not turn to save its life. It literally sucks so bad at turning. Um, it is rear engine or mid engine, but if I brake into the corner, you see the ring only comes up when the when you're braking. But yeah, going into the corner, you do have to brake quite a bit, slow down a lot more than usual, because it does end up, you know, wanting to understeer quite a bit. We're not doing bad. We're in sixth place. I'm about to go into my second lap, so we are going to concentrate. And I'll meet you guys on the third lap. All right, so we're on the third lap. We made it to fourth place. It's going to be actually... I think we're actually going to get podium this time. So hopefully we can get podium. Ooh, we're doing very well around corners right now. So I'm learning how to take the corner at a, at a decent speed without having to, like, understeer so much. Like that. That was really, really good corner taking. Let's slow down quite a bit. Take the inside line. There we go. Nice. We are in second place. Going to make it into first, hopefully soon. Hopefully we can pass this Corvette. Ooh, nice corner. Nice corner. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sh trying to shift so fast, dude. I'm using manual with clutch, too. Like, I'm so focused right now. Ooh. I could have extended the corner a little bit into the outside, but it's fine. I don't think we're going to be able to pass that Corvette. That Corvette's pretty freaking fast. Nah, we're not going to do it. Second place is not bad, though. For real. For real. For a car that uh, it doesn't really turn all that good. Um, might need some upgrades, hopefully. So maybe tires can help it. 
Um, so we're going to check out the upgrades right now. Trying to get first place. We're in second place right now. So there's that. Let's go upgrade this thing. See what this thing can do. All right. So we have a couple engine swaps for this thing. We have a 5.2 liter V10 putting out 602 horsepower. And we can also throw a racing V12 engine putting out 750 horsepower. I like the sound of the regular engine. Sounds so freaking throaty and meaty. So I'm going to keep that one in. All we have is Forza Aero front and back. Not going to do that because uh, that's lame. I am going to do Slick Race Tire Compound. And like I said, I've already done this, so it's all owned already. Um, so there's that. Going to do wheel spacers front and back all the way, uh, extending those wheels to the fender. I'm going to leave the stock wheels on there because they look freaking sick as, as they are. I'm going to do a race transmission, race drive shaft. Oh, shoot. Race drive shaft and a race differential. And we're going to fully upgrade the brakes. We are going to do... Uh, lower suspension if you wanted to you could do drift suspension doesn't really lower it all that much more but just a little bit i guess and i roll bars front and back we are going to do those there we go and we are going to do a full weight reduction minus almost 500 pounds definitely going to do that and we're going to fully upgrade the engine so 919 horsepower is how much horsepower we're putting out uh we are s2 class 940 we weigh 2600 pounds basically and our lateral g's went up to a 2.1 out of a 1.9 Super, super good. On paper, or on, you know, paper. <laughs> on paper, it looks good, right? We have the amount of, we have horsepower, we have tires, we got all the stuff, we got good uh, weight. Now it's just time to see what this thing can do in a race. Because, you know, stuff on paper doesn't really equivalent all that much to what actually happens uh, during real world testing. So there's that. All right, guys, we're going to start the race in our upgraded. ATS GT. We're gonna see what this thing can do. Ooh, noticeably a lot more wheel spin offline. Second gear wheel spin. Third gear catches grip. Going into fourth gear already. Putting out 150 miles an hour going around this corner. Ooh, it already turns a lot better. Oh shoot. It already turns a lot better with the tires. Maybe if you throw a Forza arrow, it turns a lot better, but I'm not gonna do that just because of how ugly it looks. So there is that. Oh, brakes are a little loose. They're not like... They're not like stop on a dime type brakes. They're like stop for like a quarter type brakes. Wow, they don't really help all that much. Ooh, wheel spin out of the corner just a little bit. We are in seventh place out of the... Half of the first lap. Oh, I had to clutch and then brakes and I messed up. So there's that. I didn't mean to actually hit him. All right. Sixth place. Oh god. There we go. Full throttle. Fifth gear. 170 miles an hour. Break. There we go. Fourth gear around this corner. Doing well. Doing well. Catching up. Catching up. Alright, going into the third lap. We are in fifth place. I'm trying to pass this Corvette up here and it's kind of hard. Oh, I locked up. My ABS is off and I locked up. Oof, that's unfortunate very very unfortunate there we go there we go there we go oof nice nice overtake right there Ooh, take it kind of fast go through the inside up on this lambo full throttle oh they're pulling a little bit away from me it's fine stop ahead of time take the inside line kind of tap them a little bit but it's fine it's okay oh shoot Quite a bit of wheel spin off that. We are in podium. We are in third place. I don't know if we're going to be able to pass this guy up here. I highly doubt it. That guy's kind of quick. So is the guy in front. In first place. No, I rubbed. I hit the wall. Man, that was a good race. That was a very, very close race. We got podium though. It's fine. Third place. We, for being like sort of bottom or sort of below the middle of S2 class, we did fairly well, right? We're at 940, you got 943 on the Ferrari J50 ahead of us, uh, 939 on the Corvette C8 in first place. We did pretty well. I would like to say we did very, very well. All right, guys, now we're going to go for a top speed run. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're trying to race or something. Yeah, they're all going to beat me. They're a lot faster, but... We're doing a top speed run for this car, not based off of these guys over here. Oh shoot, almost smacked into that Bronco. 
6 gear pulling 200 miles an hour. We're going pretty freaking fast. It has 7 gears. Go back to 6 so we can pull a little bit. There we go. 6 gear putting 200, almost 230 miles an hour down on the road doing very very well honestly for the top speed of this kind of car with 900 horsepower 2590 something pounds it's doing very how what the heck they went under the map what the heck that's weird but yeah dude doing 900 and something horsepower with uh 2600 pounds doing 236 miles 237 miles an hour we're about to go downhill, so we might go a little bit faster also. Here we go. Alright, 241. 242. 243. 243 miles an hour is the fastest this thing can go on a top speed run. Wow. And it seems very, very like solid and controllable at this kind of speeds. See if I can go around this corner right here at full speed. Usually some cars don't. Or like they are not able to do that and this one was able to do it no freaking problem oh this corner is a little bit stretchy but it's fine i did not mean to start this all right there's a drift run happening i'm not doing that or maybe a little bit but anyways that's where i'm gonna wrap off this video if you guys did enjoy smack the like button subscribe if you are new remember subscribe if you want to become useless just like me apparently so Join the useless crew, right? The useless community, and subscribe. I'm trying to make it 800 subscribers, 800 useless people. And just for those of you guys who are like, "What do you mean useless? I'm not useless." Well, it's just like a, it's an inside joke, all right, for me, because I was called useless. So I just wanna, I was called useless because I don't have a job and I'm trying to do something that a lot of people are trying to do, and it's kind of hard to, you know, become a YouTuber nowadays. So what I'm saying is, I'm gonna use that you know that I, the fact that they called me useless the family member called me useless and I'm gonna use that right I'm gonna use it to build basically is what I'm trying to say so yeah join the useless community if I call you useless I it's just as a joke it's the inside joke so there's that anyways that's gonna wrap it off for today's video hope you guys truly truly did enjoy smack the like button like I said subscribe if you're new thanks a ton for watching hope you guys have an outstanding day and I'll catch you guys in the next video